Hi folks, welcome back to Back Your Every Adventures. We're just about to do a small adventure, a bit of a different one. We're going tonight to Staffordshire to Aqualate Mere or Aqualate Park, I'm not quite sure which one. It's a bit of water in Staffordshire, we've been there before to see a ferruginous duck. And we really like the place, so we thought we'd go back. The reason we're not going very far is because it's Kaylee's birthday tomorrow. And um, we're going out for a family meal in the evening near where we live. Um, so, we're going to go there because we like it and we're going to do some birding. There should be some cool stuff, there always is. And then come back for the meal. We're going to sleep in the van on my mum's driveway. <laughs> There's enough room. There's enough room in the house. And then on Sunday, we're going to do a bit of twitching in the morning, probably on the Wirral. So um, keep with us. It should be an interesting yet slightly sporadic weekend. We took a short hour and 15 minute drive to the border between Shropshire and Staffordshire to Aqualate Mere. When we arrived, it was still light. Yeah, hello folks. It's still light, which is really good, because we usually get to places and it's dark. But we're here at Aqualate Mere. We thought we'd have a quick evening stroll while it's still light down to the Mere and see if there's anything around. The walk down to the Mere takes you through some pretty farmland, seeing some birds and livestock on the way. When we got to the hide, we looked out the light was against us a bit, but there were still some birds around. Out on the mere there were some ducks. There were also quite a few swans, some with cygnets. We scanned out on the mere and then looked close in, where there were some coots and moorhens. Just next to the hide there's a big bird feeder, although at this time there weren't many birds coming to the feeder. The only one seemed to be the reed bunting. By this time it was nearly dark, so we called it a night. Good morning folks. It's just before seven in the morning. Uh, I've gone for a bit of a stroll towards the Mia. It's Kaylee's birthday. Um, she's decided to have uh, a, few more, uh, a few more minutes nap. She hopefully she'll join me shortly. Let's see what birds are around. There's lots of bird song right now, so it's encouraging. Stick with us. It was a beautiful morning. I walked down to the hide. When I got there, it was a little bit more lively. Also, the light was much better. There was quite a few ducks on the mere, including this tufted duck. And reasonably close in, there was a grey-like goose having a bit of a preen. Out of the corner of my eye I saw a little bit of colour and just on a low branch there was a kingfisher. This bird was extremely confiding, it was reasonably close and it stayed there for about 15 minutes. I took quite a few photographs including this slightly comedy shot. One extremely apparent thing was lots of the birds in front of us were feeding young, like this moorhen and a little bit further out there was a family of mollards. While scanning a little bit further out I was lucky enough to see this hobby hunting over the water. At this time I decided to head back to the van to see if birthday girl had woken up yet. On the way back seeing this wonderful garden warbler singing. Hey folks that was quite a successful little morning so far. There's lots of ducks and geese out on the mere. Some cool stuff were um, a really close kingfisher that was sat there confiding for about 15 minutes, um, which was ace. There was a young woodpecker who came in, more hen feeding chicks. There was a hobby hunting, which was amazing. And even got brief glimpses, although no footage of an otter. That's excellent. Oh, and on the way back, I got a singing garden warbler which although not a rare British bird, is a lifer for me. So, woo! When I got back to the van, Kaylee was already ready to go. So we headed back towards where the garden warbler had been seen. Birthday girls up and birding. <laughs> We're still trying to find that garden warbler again I just saw before. I can hear it, but we can't see it. We didn't see the warbler again, but we went back to the hide 
and were greeted by another mollard with some very very young chick. The bird feeder was much busier today with a variety of birds visiting it like this young great tit. Also in the area around the feeder was a chiff chaff. While scanning a little bit further out at the other side of the mare we did spot this red kite flying around really majestically. Back close in towards the bird feeder there was a tree that was being frequented by a young woodpecker and soon enough it was joined by an adult male that was feeding the youngster. This is a sight we don't often see so we felt quite privileged to have witnessed it. We sat for a while watching the birds around the feeder including this lovely dunnock. The mere itself is very pretty, very serene and reasonably quiet. I have seen another couple of people here but mostly we've had the hide to ourselves watching all the wildlife and birds surrounding it. Godwits. These were in summer plumage which is a lovely orangey terracotta type colour which was amazing to see. Another bird that's been a success story for Burton Mere over the years has been Avocet. We saw a good few of these and we saw this one lovely baby feeding by the far bank. 
there were a handful of other species that were around, including this oyster catcher that was stored having a preen. There was also some ducks, most numerous seeming to be the teal, which is one of the UK's smaller dabbling ducks. On an adjoining bit of marshy water, there was a grey heron wading around trying to catch its next meal. Hey folks, I've just been to Border Hyde, it, there's plenty of birds there, a little quieter than I expected though, but still we saw plenty of things like blackity gulls, loads of those, you can probably even hear them in the background, um, lots and lots of lapwings, a couple of avocets, one with a baby which was super cute to see, coots, uh, oyster catcher, godwits that were in summer feathers which was really nice, um, a heron fishing, teal, yeah, quite a number of birds. Um, we're going to head to one of the other hides now and then back to the reception where you can look over the main scrape where there's plenty of other birds. Uh, on the way in I spotted at uh, quite a long distance a nice summer plumage spotted red shank so uh, I've been told there may be more than one so I'm going to head back there and find out. So stick with us. By this time clouds were starting to come in so we headed back towards the visitor centre stopping off at the Marsh Covert hide. This hide was quiet for birds, with the most numerous bird being Little Egret. We headed back then towards the visitor centre, passing a construction site where they're building a cafe for the reserve. It looks like it'll be superb. As we headed to the visitor centre, there was a pool to the right where there was this great white egret. These are birds that are slowly taken over the UK with ever gaining numbers. I really like these birds, I think they're very, very elegant. Looking out on the main scrape in front of the visitor centre, after buying the girls some ice cream of course, there was a whole load of avocet, and one of the birds that I was looking for today, on the far bank, a little far away, was a spotted red shank. These birds that generally visit us in the winter, were in their summer plumage, which is a lovely black with white spots. There were a couple of them here, one was asleep on the far bank, and one not far from it, feeding in the shallows. Unfortunately, it now started raining, so we all went to take refuge in the van. Hey folks, we've had a walk round uh, Birkenwood Wetlands, it, it's and just about to it hammer down with rain. <laughs> yeah. Um, finished it. We managed it just before it hammered out. It's raining through the window on my leg now. I'm going to get a wet leg. Um, I'm, I'm going to. Um, we saw a few things. Uh, the highlight for me was a summer plumage spotted red shank that's at the end. Um, we're going to head now to Parkgate. Um, I'm hoping to see some stuff, but it might be from out the window of the van. We're going to get chippies. And we're going to go get chippies, Yay! which everyone's super happy with. Uh, stick with us. We drove out just down the Wirral towards Parkgate which has the best fish and chip shop around. It's also a really large area of marshland on the estuary, so there are always birds around too. In a small reprieve from the rain, we bought our lunch and sat in the van and ate it, looking out on the marsh, with the most abundant bird in sight being the black-headed gulls that were after our chips. This was a lovely way to end our weekend and to end Kaylee's birthday. Hey folks, uh, that's the end of our day and the end of this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like. Please like, please subscribe. And press the notification button. Thank you. Bye bye.